ministers here at Greenford Baptist Church and welcome uh, to this series under the banner of Sword Stance. Again, it's, it's using uh, the Bible, uh, using the word of the Lord as, uh, as it is, as a sword, as a double-edged sword to cut down between bone and marrow, to divide between spirit and flesh as well. It's ensuring to us that the word of the Lord is something, uh, is clearly an encouragement to us at various occasions. I talk to you today on Thursday the 5th of November. Currently we've just started an, uh, lockdown 2 as it's being uh, dubbed by the press. Uh, there's also awaiting the result of uh, maybe the, uh, the election result within the USA. And also it happens today officially to be the day that we uh, mark fireworks night or Guy Fawkes Night, or whatever you want to call it. And all's going to be very, very different by the time this recording is finished. All will be very different maybe by the time you're watching this, maybe a few days from now. It was in that reflection that uh, the Bible verse that came up yesterday was the fact that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it really hit me again. I thought, yes, um, actually... Those things are going to change what we appear to be changing in the human realm. Fireworks night can't be celebrated in the same way that it has been for many, many years now. Potentially, uh, the way that the election results are going to happen in the USA may not be the same as they were yesterday. Yesterday, we were still able up to a point to mix with friends out privately, out in a garden. Today, we cannot do that again. This lockdown, number two, is not quite exactly the same as lockdown number one. Things are different. But Jesus still holds. He's still the same yesterday, today and forever. He doesn't change. And I suppose, as I sit here today, there's a sense of, we need reminding of the fact that he doesn't change. The world around us changes, but he doesn't. And it's almost the same as in the lockdown number one. I look back at the talks that we've done then and some of the talking we did then. We were talking about the fact that though the world may be changing, Jesus, the Lord, doesn't. And we need reminding of that. Because the earth constantly looks like at the moment it's constantly in flux. It seems to have a constant change happening. And I suppose it's good for us to be reminded that God doesn't change. It was in that that uh, my YouTube uh, Bible reading uh, came up today and I got immediately reminded of the talk I did on Habakkuk 2.14. So it says, for as the waters fill the earth, sorry, as the waters fill the sea, that went well, didn't it? As the waters fill the sea, the earth will be filled with the awareness of the glory of the Lord. That's Habakkuk 2.14. For as the waters fill the sea, the earth will be filled with an awareness of the glory of the Lord. And I thought that was quite a wow. Today of all days, on the first day of lockdown 2.0, that we are reminded of something, believe right at the beginning of lockdown, that we were being made aware as Christians that, that, that the Lord is saying, listen, spend time with me, come into my presence, be continually digging into me, continue to build a, the relationship with me, um, come and be with me. And eventually over time we realise that the Lord is saying, listen, I am coming, I am, you know, my glory is going to fill the earth. It's going to fill the streets. It's going to fill your homes. It's going to fill your neighbours' homes. The glory of the Lord is going to be known throughout the earth. People are going to become more and more aware. So it may feel like, I don't know, going into this lockdown 2.0, it might feel like, again, a shifting again. And clearly we will continue to be praying uh, uh, against people uh, catching it, but also against people dying from it. 
And so they could, could feel like, well, nothing's happened, nothing's really changed. So where is this glory of the Lord? But I feel we need reminding again that the glory of the Lord is present and it's going to become people are going to become even more aware of it. And it's those who don't even know the Lord yet. It's for them to become aware of it. Things aren't going to be the same. We're already getting warning signs and saying Christmas won't be like it normally is. So it could again feel like the earth is shifting again. Things are not the same, but Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. God's promises are the same as yesterday, today and forever. So this promise that his glory is going to fill the earth just as the seas fill the earth. People's awareness of his glory is going to fill and be people have become more and more aware of it. That promise still holds true. So in this time of where we could, for some of us, lockdown, we're quite happy with. For others, of us, we're not. For some of us, fear of losing our job is becoming more and more of a real reality. But the promises of the Lord to become aware of his glory, that the whole earth is going to know and turn to him, that is still a continuing promise that more and more will want to know. I suppose that we should be prepared for it. We need to become aware of his glory in our everyday lives and then we can help others become aware of his glory as well. So I want to encourage you. There is still hope. That the Lord is still the same today as he was yesterday and he will forever be the same. And therefore his promises are still the same. Hang on to that during this lockdown as well. Excel in this during this lockdown. Drive in victory during this lockdown because his glory people will become more aware of just as anybody would be aware of the sea. God bless to you.